Well, while there's a lot of really, really good coffee fragrances out there, and I have several, don't get me wrong, good coffee fragrance, really hard to beat in the cold weather, which we just had a blizzard come through at the recording of this. And based on one of my recent wearings, which that fragrance is actually in this video, is what inspired this video topic in the first place. So today I'm bringing you my five personal favorite coffee fragrances I have in my collection. So stay tuned. Starting with the best designer coffee fragrance, in my personal opinion, that's out there. That being Boss the Scent Private Accord. Love this stuff so much so I have a big 200 milliliter bottle and you see the dent in the bottle. I love this stuff. This is a winter essential. Winter essential for me. That sweet, slightly boozy Meninka fruit, some dark chocolate, some roasted coffee, some leather. It's got a little touch of powder. It's a little sweet. It's dark, it's delectable, it's got a sexy alluring quality to it. The scent trail on this is magical. It's pretty long lasting without being a beast. You know, an eight-ish hour range of longevity. And it doesn't push really hard off of my skin, but for the amount of projection that it does put out, it has a pretty good lingering trail, a nice little scent bubble. This stuff is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's. It runs a close race these days with Boss the Scent Absolute for me, on which is my favorite in the line. But for the longest time, it was this hands down. I just really, really like Absolute. So they kind of go back and forth. I'm not really sure which is my favorite. But if you've yet to get your nose on this one, you're doing yourself a disservice. And you really should get out and sample it. Go where they carry Hugo Boss fragrances to a department store. Sample it. Try it. Get a carded sample or a decant online. Something. And try this fragrance. Because who knows? You may end up needing a big 200 milliliter bottle when it's said and done like I do. Boston Scent, Private Accord. Next is the fragrance I just wore that inspired this video topic in the first place. It is a brand new release from Authenticity Perfumes. For those of you that don't know who Authenticity is, they are a very small, indie, affordable house that uses 50% oil concentration. So you really get some beastly performance out of these original creations. That being Coffee Lush. So the best way I can describe this one to you... God, it is, it's so good, it really is. Is picture a nice cup of coffee and the creamer you decided to use was Vanilla Latte Coffee Mate, the liquid creamer. And you weren't, you weren't sparing with it. It's a good bit, it makes a nice thick, rich, creamy, caramelized vanilla, because that caramelized vanilla is what's in the notes here. It's gorgeous. There's some tonka bean, there's some coconut, there's all, there's tobacco, there's all these other notes. In the deeper dry down, I do get a little bit of earthy tobacco, and I do get some of the tonka beans start to come in in the dry down where it's a smoother sweetness, not quite as dark and a little soft powdery type of nature, but I never really pick up any coconut or anything like this. But man, this, look, the last handful of releases, majority of them have been fantastic from Authenticity Perfumes, but this might be the best of the bunch. That's why it inspired a video topic all on its own. Tobacco Boss was a great release. I love that one. Green Aura that released side by side with this. Another stellar, stellar fresh green fragrance. But there's just something about this. I, look, I love coffee fragrances. That's why we're doing this video in the first place. But this is the first one that's actually made me want to drink a cup of coffee when I smell it. And it's so delectable and delicious smelling. This fragrance smells delicious. Make sure to get your nose on this one. Get a sample. If not, get a bottle. They're 40 bucks before the 10% off code that's down in my link tree for a 60 ml bottle. And you don't need many sprays because it's potent. Like I said, it's a beyond a pure parfum. It's a 50% all concentration. This is one of the best coffee fragrances I've ever smelled because it actually smells like vanilla latte creamer in some medium rose coffee. Coffee Lush, Authenticity Perfumes. Now I know Ristretto Intense Cafe is more on the coffee, less on the rose, but still rose overall. I don't have that one, I have smelled it, but I love Montal Intense Cafe. I had a 10ml decant originally, then I ended up being lucky enough to get a bottle 
from Kingdom Fragrances a while back. Yes, at its core, it's a deep rose fragrance. I understand that. It's not through and through completely a coffee fragrance. But in the first hour and a half or so, I get a lot of rich, deep, dark roasted coffee. Gorgeous up top with this mysteriously dark, petally rose. Beautiful. Such a good fragrance. And crazy, crazy powerful. This is another one that I only wear in the winter because it's a warming fragrance that's super duper powerful. If you don't like rose, you won't like this fragrance. Like I said, at its core, it's a deep rose. But its supporting player, strong supporting player, is this beautiful dark roast coffee. It's stunning. This is such a good fragrance. Another one everybody should try. Get your nose on this one and sample it. Don't knock it until you try it. It's immensely popular. It's not just me that likes this fragrance. And if you need an even more intense coffee smell, they have the Ristretto Intense Cafe version, which like I said, does have a bit more coffee to it, but as it dries down, they're very similar with that rose wood, rosy and woody type of smell, but just absolutely gorgeous if you've yet to try this one you really should if you're in the coffee and rose it's possibly the best coffee rose fragrance out there montal intense cafe next is from another small indie house and this one's a strange one that is oddly enjoyable it's from icon de parfum this is called arizona sunset so what's unique about this one is there's an actual note and a chord called cigarettes in here the story behind this is the gentleman that owns the brand wanted to make an homage to his stepfather and his, his, you know, the main thing he thinks of when he thinks of his stepfather is him smoking a cigarette while having a cup of coffee on the porch in the mornings. And uh, this absolutely encapsulates that. It tells that story. And look, as a person that quit smoking cigarettes a few years ago and is disgusted by the smell of a burning cigarette these days, it literally almost makes me nauseous. I hate the smell. This works. It doesn't, but I was worried when I first got it. When I saw the notes and heard it had the story, I was like, ooh, might hate that. Actually, absolutely love it. Sweet, smooth, rich coffee. There's a beautiful gourmandy sweetness. Not quite gourmand like Coffee Lush, but Arizona Sunset encapsulates a nice, sweet, dark coffee type of aroma with this strange, this is going to sound weird, freshly put out cigarette butt. That sounds terrible, I get it, but when you smell it, it oddly just works. That stuff works in this. This is another one, get a sample. Definitely do not blind buy this one. This one, there's potential for you to not like it, for sure. It's polarizing, it's different. That's what I dig the most about it. It is an extremely unique coffee fragrance because of the cigarette accord. But it's such an intriguing conversation starter and for some reason, don't know why it's beyond me, it just works well together. Get a sample and try it. I'm telling you, you're bound to like it. Performance is amazing on it. The performance is amazing on every fragrance in this video. But if you want a unique coffee olfactive experience, get a sample or a decant of Arizona Sunset from Icon de Parfum. Finally, hands down, my favorite coffee fragrance. Those of you that have been watching me for a while, you already knew when you saw the topic this was going to be in the video. You already know it's my favorite coffee fragrance because I don't think that's ever going to change. That is Happy Land Studios Ohm for the Holidays. Yes, the Christmas fragrance. Coffee and syrupy waffles. I've said it so many times. It reigns true for this fragrance. That is what it smells like to me. This stuff's incredible. <sighs> Dark roasted coffee maple syrup on some fresh baked waffle like fresh off the waffle iron waffles not ego waffles out the toaster fresh off the waffle iron that's just what i think about every time i smell it and it's astronomical performance 16 plus hours well beyond 12 hours until you take a shower it's on your skin this stuff is super potent. EJ did magnificent work. He actually made a decaf edition that is more sweet gourmand without the coffee in it and is even more powerful. It's absurdly powerful, but doesn't have the coffee note, which is what makes this such a standout. If you haven't gotten your nose on this, this is one of the five best fragrances from Happy Land Studio to try. Must try from the house if you're looking to explore the house of Happy Land Studio. There's the banner right there. Shout outs to EJ Wells. That man is a genius 
when he creates these fragrances. He's always got something in the works, and he's got something special coming pretty soon at the recording of this video. It's not out yet, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but just know that mad scientist is always working. And he's always working on crazy good stuff like Happy Land, Home for the Holidays. So, not too long of a video. My absolute five favorites, mostly indie fragrances, believe it or not, because some of these indie brands make incredible sweet scents, and a lot of these sweeter scents that just blow me away usually end up having dominating coffee notes, hence three of the five fragrances in this video. It's one niche, one designer, three indie. So think about that. Stunners. Must try across the board if you're into coffee fragrances. Try to get your hands on a sample for all of these. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What of these five of my five favorites have you tried before? If you've tried some of them, one, two, three, or all of them, what do you think about them? Or if certain ones piqued your interest, what has you most intrigued about them? Definitely let me know down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of my fav five favorite coffee fragrances and you give them a spray now, I'm confident you'll thank me later because they're my favorites. Have a good one, guys.